Mr. Deputy Speaker. Order. Questions for oral answer. Mr. Morali Pillay. Question one, please. Mr. Deputy Speaker, may I answer question one to five in my ministerial statement later, please? Yes. Proceed. Question number six, Mr. Saktiandi Supad. Mr. Deputy Speaker, number six, please. Mr. Deputy Speaker, MCI and IMDA work closely with the Ministry of Home Affairs in the Inter-Ministry Committee on Scams to strengthen our whole of government efforts to protect Singaporeans against scams. One key initiative which the member cited is our effort to combat scam phone calls from overseas. The plus six five prefix which we implemented with telcos in April last year helps to alert the public that these are calls coming from overseas and that the public should not pick up such calls if they're not expecting anyone calling from overseas. This is part of our broader anti-scam efforts, including the expeditious blocking of known numbers used to perpetuate scams or those attempting to spoof the numbers of government agencies. IMDA will continue to work with telcos on solutions that they can deploy within their networks to enhance the ability to detect and block suspected scam calls while ensuring that genuine calls continue to be efficiently connected. The technological solutions that we implement need to be complemented by measures to heighten awareness and vigilance of the public. In this spirit, IMDA teaches seniors cyber safety tips such as how to identify spoofed spam calls via its Seniors Go Digital program. The government has also partnered key stakeholders like the National Crime Prevention Council, banks and telcos to disseminate anti-scam messages. These efforts take place online and offline in order to reach out to a wider audience including vulnerable segments of our society. For instance, the police work with residence committees and grassroots volunteers to spread scam alerts to residents including senior citizens via WhatsApp and community events like block parties, roadshows, festive events, and community safety and security programs. The NCPC's crime prevention ambassadors also reach out to seniors to share crime prevention tips at various community events. A vigilant public remains critical in our defense against scams. We urge members of the public to join in the fight against scams by looking out for family members and for one another. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Mr. Saktiandi Supad. Thank um, SMS for the answer. I have uh, two supplementary questions. Uh, one is, um, I believe uh, many members in this house have asked this question, or has, has asked this question before about the plus 65 scam calls. Uh, the question I have is, I've been receiving a lot of uh, questions from residents about the plus 65 scam calls, and it seems that the trend has increased in uh, quite significantly. Uh, question, uh, first question is whether MCI and MHA will look into blocking the source of this plus 65 in, in, in a more concerted way. Second is uh, how much more can we educate our elderly uh, our residents, who, and also not even elderly, but uh, even young uh, residents or adults who may unsuspectingly pick this up and together combine with the uh, scam and phishing uh, efforts of uh, these um, perpetrators uh, lead to further uh, worsening of uh, exposures of our residents to such uh, efforts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, indeed, um, the ministries and agencies involved uh, will continue to monitor and are concerned about an increased trend and a 
attempted scam calls and spoof calls using the plus 65 prefix. Um, we will try to work upstream. There is unfortunately a problem in that there are also legitimate calls that will end up using the plus 65 prefix. For example, Singaporeans that are roaming overseas and uh, calling back home. Uh, but we will continue our efforts, and we are as concerned as the member. As far as education, indeed, that is the key, uh, because the main prevention is going to be that the vigilance of the public, the awareness of what a scam might look like, what they might be trying to get away with. And in, in this, the education and outreach is not confined only to uh, the specifics of a scam call or a spoof call, um, as our general efforts to educate the public around using online technologies, digital technologies, which are often what these scam calls are trying to extract value from, and people have a comfort and understanding about those things, they will become more vigilant, more understanding about what's possible and what needs to be protected in this space. Uh, we thank all stakeholders in our community who have helped to uh, spread the word on this. Thank you.